Hello friends, this is our second video on calendar and thank you for your support which lead our video to reach rank 1 on YouTube. Today I am going to tell you one more trick which help you to solve calendar questions easily and accurately. Here are some examples. This is calendar 16. We take last two digits. We will divide this by 4. 16. And this gives you remainder 0. This proves, this proves that this is a leap year. And here we take 17. We divide it by 4. 4, 16, 1. So this is a ordinary year. In case of century year, we divide whole digit by 400 that gives you 0 as a remainder so this is a leap year and in this hundred is your remainder so this is ordinary. Now first we are going to do divide years into two categories non-century year and century year. If last two digits are not non-zero this is called a non-century year. If last two digits are zero this is called a century year. In non-century year if last two digits is divided by four then it is a leap year and if it is not divided by four this is your ordinary year and in case of century year if number is divided by 400 then it is called leap year and if it is not divided by 400 this is called ordinary year now when years are given first we take 100 as it is divided by 4 according to that it consists of 25 leap years but 100 is a century year and in century year we need to divide it by 400 so 100 is not divided by 400 so we cancel one leap year from this now we have 24 leap years and we need to calculate number of odd days in 100 years 100 24 leap years and number of odd days in leap year is 2 plus 100 minus 24 number of odd days in ordinary year is 1 now we get 48 plus 76 which is equals to 124 now we divide 124 by 7 is 1754 749 gives you 5 according to this 5 is your number of odd days if we calculate Using this method, we can able to calculate number of odd days for 200, which is 3. For 300, this is 1. For 400, this is 0. Now, after 400, this will repeat again. 100 and 500 have same number of odd days. 600 and 200 have same number of odd days. 700 and 300 have same number of odd days and 800 and 400 have same number of odd days here we are going to solve type 1 question in which we need to find a day on 1st March 2016 for this first we need to calculate number of odd days till 2050 we 
we break 2015 in 2000 plus 15. 2000 is a century leap year, so it has zero or days. In 15, we have three leap year and 12 ordinary year. Now this zero plus three into two plus twelve into one. This will give you eighteen. Now we divide eighteen by seven. Two fourteen four. So four is number of odd days till 2015. Now we are going to calculate number of odd days in 2016. In January month we have three odd days. As 2016 is a leap year so Feb we have one odd day and in March we have one. Three plus one plus one is five. Now we gonna add five plus four. Five plus four is equals to nine. This nine we are going to divide this 9 by 7, 1, 7, 2. Now check this 2 with this 2. 2 is Tuesday. So 1st of March 2016 is Tuesday. Now we are going to solve type 1 by method 2. In this method, we need to remember month codes. January, February, March. Every month have their code and we need to remember this. And this is century code. <clears throat> we always assign 0 to the current century then on the right side of the current century, we take minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6. On the left side, we take plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, 0, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, again 0. Now, we need to find out what is the date on 15th August 2015. Now, according to this formula, date is 15, month code is August 1, last two digits of a year, it is 15, number of leap years, 15 divided by 4, 3, 12, 3, 3 leap years, century code, it is 21 which is 0 and leap year no it is not a leap year so we assign 0 for ordinary year and for leap year we always assign minus 1 now adding 15 plus 1 plus 15 plus 3 we get 34 now we divide 34 by 7 we get 6 as a number of odd days and earlier we saw that 6 indicates for Saturday Then Saturday is your answer now we are going to solve different question which is leap year and have different century now again date 18 month code February Two, last two dates of the year 40 number of leap year 
40 divided by 4 10 century code 20 it's plus 1 and it is a leap year so we always take minus 1 after solving this we get 70 which when divided by 7 gives 0 and 0 indicates your Sunday now we solve type 2 question in this the day of our day is given and we need to find out day or second date with reference to first one for this we solve or check that 15 August 1947 is Friday or not date 15 month code is 1 last two digit of year 47 number of leap year 47 divided by 4 1 4 7 1 4 3 so 11 is the number of leap years it's 1947 the century is 20 we take century code as 1 it is not a leap year so we take it as 0 on solving this we get 75 now we divide 75 by 7 we get 5 as a remainder so 5 indicates that it is Friday so this has proved that 15 August 1947 Friday is given and we checked it that we got answer it is Friday now we solve same method for 12 November 2015 it is date 12 month code November 2 last day 2 digit 15 number of leap year it is 3 century code 21 it is 0 it is not a leap year so again 0 and we get 32 now we divide 32 by 7 we get 4 now 4 is your Thursday this is your answer but what if Saturday is given here? For this, we know that if we add 1 in this, we get Saturday, which is 6. Then again, for this, we add 1 in this. We, now we add plus 1 in this, we get Friday as in our answer. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe us for more videos.